Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Get ready for the passionate deluge of everything that you've been expecting and wanting, bringing in, coming in from higher levels. It's ready to shower down on you. As we say here in the United States, the April showers bring me flowers. In some areas, it's still rainy, still showering. A lot of you have been expecting your twin flame to come and rain the love down on you. And it's, it's been both a pulling up and a raining down effect here. Um, as someone uh, I, I did about a month ago keep getting that song, It's Raining Men. But it is raining divine masculine and divine feminine energies. So today I want to talk to you about uh, the, re the webinar I just finished. Uh, this is going to have a lot of good information for people. Recently, through my sessions and my readings, I actually have been reading for a lot of people that have met their twin 20, 30, 10 years ago. And they weren't able to connect all the dots at that time. And they're, they're suddenly having that second part of their awakening and realizing what this is. And a lot of those people, it's your turn. A lot of you may or may not know what to do. It may feel very abrupt for you. It may feel very recent. I spoke to one person. They had only found out the words twin flame three weeks ago. So this is new. There's some of you who have been at this a really long time in this life. You've actually been at it for several of your past karmic life cycles. And everything is culminating. So the parts that we've been talking about are, are coming to fruition now. They're culminating and they're going to start showing up manifesting in the physical. A couple of other things to know is that many of the uh, details that I have, there, there's so much material coming through, so much, not just information, but actions. What do you do that I've packed into my webinar? Now, last year when I started my series of videos, I told you the parts, and there's something to know. You're brand new. You're very brand new. If you are a Blu-ray twin flame, I am a Blu-ray twin flame. I'm on my way back to the new earth. Many of you are on your way back to the new earth, and how do you get there? How do you get to the places that you feel in your heart and you've longed to go to? How do you do that? How do you get back to the passion? How do you return to this? And this is a part of the how, how to. This is a how-to in your own privacy, in your own home, at your own convenience, on your own schedule, at your own speed. And it's this way on purpose because people are in different time zones. They don't always have the ability or the means and sometimes not the inclination to go out, you know, go to certain places. That's how some people have been doing it. Years ago when I started doing uh, twin flame work. I was twin flame healer and I would actually do body work. I was doing twin flame healing by reconnecting. Things have been barreling along and let me tell you in just in the past two weeks th things have greatly accelerated and there's a lot that I'm able to perceive from behind the scenes. That doesn't mean that some of you aren't having your own perceptions and abilities. Things are going to keep opening and expanding. My webinars are designed for things to become not just second nature to you, natural. Natural, easy, effortless. Now, if you take your human body, your human body has autonomous responses and systems that will keep you going whether you've been in an accident, whether or not you're sleeping, whether or not somebody hits you on the head, whether or not you accidentally get sick, your body will uh, have things continue to move along. How do you know this? Well, you can look at someone who is, uh, let's say it was someone in an accident as a child and they're not able to use their legs and let, yet their body continues to grow. How do they do that? It's because they're, they've only 
had one part of them disconnected. They haven't had the growth mechanism. They haven't had the maturity. You are a multidimensional, multifaceted, higher consciousness being. And yet these deep level wounds, uh, some of it you're crying out. Your body is new. Things are, things are so new that some of this is going to enable you to feel parts of yourself the way you're intended to feel. Good, joyful, without the depression, without feeling like things have been dragging you down. So I just want to go over an outline of what I cover in this webinar. And I'd like you to know that every webinar has built on each other. But starting from about last October until now, these are the more meaty ones. The first ones were introductory. If you just feel to get a recent one, try it. Try it. It's, it's very helpful. Before I even present any of these, things have been tried. I do it myself. Everything that I've put in there are things that I personally have done, um, put action into, tweaked it, adjusted it. It is available for people to um, have this in a general way, enabling you to have a launching off point to really get into the uniqueness of your own union. This is for true twin flames, whether or not you are physically together. And a lot of it is actually for people who are not physically together. But if you are physically together, you see your twin flame, you visit your twin flame, you live together, you will find a benefit in this. If you are a divine counterpart here to receive the brand new light body, the template for divine union and relationship, this will benefit you. So what I talk about is the return of your life. And what is your life? A lot of you have been lamenting the loss of your life. You've been saying, my manifester is broken. My abundance hasn't kicked in. I can't seem to get things going. I can't have fun. I can't hold the fun. And yes, you're not going to be able to entirely hold it without your twin until you're actually holding each other within. And that's sort of a given for now. So please know as part of the process, you do need each other. But you, you, you have to be woven inside each other. So a lot of what I present is getting things cleared out in a rather easy way, pulling the light and the love in and anchoring it. This is what you want to do. You want to be able to anchor it in those deep, intimate spots. And by intimate, I mean right in where you're feeling the love, where the things that you love and feel want to feel connected to, you're able to. Where you're connected to the universe, you don't want it to be where if you cut a tree, your arm hurts. You want to know what trees need trimming, what weeds need pulling, which people do you have to set boundaries with and have it be so obvious to your body. Let your body be your intelligence as you travel in this level and in other levels. So the return of your life is really, this is intended to assist you for daily living in multidimensionality. Now, some of you are beginning to experience this in small ways. And I would say there are twin flames who have been together, maybe from three years ago. And one or the other absolutely got upset or freaked out when they went to other dimensions, when they saw past lives, when they felt that they were back in the 1800s or back in Roman times or on another planet or some of the uh, angelic remembrances of flying, of being having parts of you taken. Now, I don't wish to dwell on all of the traumatic, cataclysmic, climactic, painful, deep soul damaging things. There's enough people out there talking about it and talking about the resulting psyche damage. All the illnesses here, whether it be mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, cancerous, chronic, they're the result of some type of soul damage and, and or distortion, misappropriation of sacred energies. So 
your multidimensional self. Many of you this year will be embarking upon the next phase of your journey where you will be going with your twin flame to the fifth dimension. Some of you have been very lovingly restoring your connections from the fifth through the ninth dimensions. And it is when you come back in here. And this is what my webinars also talk about. How do you get your daily life into a, made of, a mode of maintenance? Sorry, how do you get it into maintenance mode so that you're able to really enjoy where you really live and come back? Because that's your real home. This is sort of like the hospital, the office, the place. A lot of you have other responsibilities. You have children. You wish to have children. You have elderly parents. You have someone else that relies or depends upon you. You have a marriage that you're very not too sure of how is that going to move along. And you're well heard. Please know that any of the guides that you have actually connected with who have been helping you. They've been put through their paces. They're able to guide because, yes, they've lived human lives. They understand human concerns. And the human part of you wants one thing. The angelic part wants another thing. And you're melding this all together, becoming the brand new human angelic. That, that was a plan we had. Yes, it's part of your soul plan. There is a plan. Knowing what you know. Know what you know in your heart. That means knowing your own truth, accepting it. Are you a twin flame? Yes, then own it. You're a twin flame. So why did you wake up to begin with? So I talk about before and after your awakening. I talk a lot about that. The pain, the pain that comes up when you start releasing things. So when you started to wake up, a lot of you, all of a sudden it was time to get to work. Whether or not someone told you this is work, it was, start to, it was time to start working on yourself, getting healthy, releasing patterns, releasing behaviors, uh, making amends with things. And for many of you, that's been in several cycles. So I talk about the before and after awakening, your pain and your health concerns, because there are health concerns that come up. You're fully intended to heal and cure everything, everything. Sexually transmitted diseases, yes. Please hear me, those people with soulmates that, yes, not everything is, is all loving and wonderful as you may proclaim it to be. And I know some of you have had abuse at the hands of your twin flame, and I'm very sorry and sympathetic for that. And it will take a little bit more time here. However, those of you, please know that your soulmates they're going to be having their own karmic stuff. And it, it depends on, you know, how far are you delving in here to assist or help them. Please know that people still fight and argue with soulmates. They still break up. They still get sick. And there's some lovely people. But there are old patterns. Those are old third dimensional human relations. And you're getting ready here for your fifth dimensional union and beyond. So the health concerns that come. I talk a lot about, I have a lot of uh, assistive information in here for the men. But for males, this is going to be for human heterosexual males in a male body. It can be someone who identifies as male, such as transgender. It can be gay or lesbian. And there are reasons for that. It's because your androgyny is on the inside. But I talk about the males in union. I have specific information that people need to know about their reproductive organs. Your reproductive organs, your parts, the process. I talk about, you know, a lot of about also the children, children of the future, children that are currently in and around your union, whether they are your twin flames children or your own, whether they're biological foster children or adopted. And, you're, and you do see people that want this. They're many times feeling the love of their union. They're feeling the birthing of their union, and they want children. But there's things to know about your, repro your own reproductive process and your twin flames reproductive process. Many people are wondering, why is it like this? Why is my body doing this or that? 
I have some of the answers in here. I talk about the lower chakra connections and the old soul groups. I talk about that and a lot of people are starting to struggle with exactly this because you are pulling in and up energies and they're having a tendency to pull right in your private areas, right in the sacred sexual part, in the sacrum, in the tailbone, um, on the front private parts and it is making people really wanting to get out there and the wild horses are going. And I know some people, testosterone is their kryptonite. They, you know, they want, you know, they want to be with someone they need, they are feeling to meet with someone. Or they want to take as many, as many females under their wing as possible and help them protect them. Or more. We all know people that are trying to do more with those energies than they should. And again, knowing what you know in your heart, what's appropriate. Your higher consciousness being, what's appropriate? What is, um, what actually belongs to your soul? What is the divine will? Why did you, why did you two wake up in the first place? Why did one of you wake up? You're, you're here to be together. So don't doubt, don't do the mental rationalizations. Don't do the, well, you know, he or she, you know, she's this, she, he's that. It's going to start to, you're going to start to feel it in a much more tangible way because there is no way to continue separating these things and compartmentalizing it. Everything is culminating. And so the old soul groups, those old soul groups and soulmates, some of them are lovely. Some of them are lovely friends from home, so to speak. They're not the one. Be sure that you're able to discern this. I talk about that in there. The polarity shift. Now this is all four. This is the magnetic masculine, electric masculine. A lot of the magnetic masculine necessary for this time period coming up is coming in now and being integrated. The electric masculine. I think we're very much done with the old version of electric masculine, which was very patriarchal, very offensive, very much assaulting. And it's, did it have to be? Yeah, in some ways, if you look at, if you would look at our galactic history, or for those of you who've had a past life regression, and I, I would say to you, don't distract yourself with that right now. But you would know uh, that, yes, we, we have had to have that. But it's it's done now. And those of you who are going first, it's time to set all of that old stuff down. So the polarity shift. New electric feminine, new magnetic feminine. Because she's not any of the old connotations. You're not relating to the feminine in the same old ways. Speaking of feminine. The children of the future. So I talk in here about the children who will be a part of your union because, as I've mentioned before, they are not only acclimating themselves, they may be going through their own things. You need to give them a little bit of your focus and attention. I talk in there about how do you pull yourself through as the divine parent in order to assist your children or even... And this may be an inside job over the distance. How do you assist the children of your twin flame? Many of you do feel the child of your twin flame. Some of you feel it with such a longing in your heart that it brings you to tears every single time. But please know that those bonds are there for a reason and that these children are doubly blessed. They actually have four parents, not just two. Not just two. None of the old connotations. So the children of the future will also be those new children that will come through the unions, the ones that really won't be coming through until 2016. And I've talked about that before. The last thing I talk about is before and after reunion of some of the things to expect and after your physical reunion, because there are more. We're, we're really just at the ending and at the beginning of the beginning here. So a lot of you, you are still struggling with the mental and emotional. I encourage you, not only get some help, I'm going to tell you this, and I am really going out here because this is good stuff. My last webinar was good. This is very good. The reason that I have these and I have... 
uh, videos demonstrating priming exercises. These are to prime and open your channels. And what this will enable you to do is very easily get you into your love bubble, release those things, because this is where you release the old emotions, where, where people might say, hey, my twin flame, you know, they're married. What if they need six months to grieve? I just don't know if I can handle that. No, they don't. You start getting your love bubble going, get these things cleared out, bring the love and anchor it. I've told everyone in my uh, series of videos I started last year, where are the connection points? Where are the anchoring points? And I get specific in here on the how-to. The reason being that this is the time frame where it's possible. It is possible and the energies are here to support you. We just went through a full moon. This was the blossoming moon. So expect things to blossom out. And please know that uh, today, as I'm doing this, some of you might feel that what I call it moon backwash. It's that, you know, the wave, you've been whooshed through the tunnel, you've been whooshed through the pipe. It was a tight fit. It made you feel depressed. It compressed you. And, you're, and people stuff all of their wishes and intentions. I wish to stop smoking. I wish to be, uh, stop being such a flirt. Uh, I wish that I could stand up to my mother. I wish I could ask for that raise. I wish I could move. All of those wishes and intentions and the things that are being transmuted, you're kind of passing through that. Pay attention and be discerning what is your own guidance. And for some of you, that guidance is don't do anything hasty. Don't do anything hasty. Don't make any hasty moves. Be willing to go through this time period, hunker down, get inside, try some of this, and get good at it. It will serve you well because many of you, you're, you're not going to take your cell phones with you to the fifth dimension. And this will enable you to do that swap of out of the etheric into the physical, put you to up a level where you need to be and furthermore be able to do it from the privacy of your own bedroom so some of you really need that some of you have been uh, really hurting for a really long time and I can't tell you the sense of urgency that I feel and pressure to um, get these things into place because there will be more waves of people there will be the children to care for who are here to be with their true love some of you are not just here to be teachers and healers. Some of you are here to be the new people, interior designers, uh, people that make films, musicians, singers, chefs. Not everyone is a, they're not all becoming a light worker. We're not all becoming light workers. So thanks so much. And this is available both at the link below um, in the information section of this video and on my website. Bye now.